Lila was the quietest girl in her class, but had the sharpest mind. While others chatted during breaks, she buried herself in her notebook, scribbling down ideas and questions about the world. I know you would like to create this type of whiteboard animation. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do just that. First, you have to go to ChatGTP and type in write a short story about a schoolgirl. Your story can be about anything. Tell ChatGTP to make it engaging and interesting. And this story will guide us in making our whiteboard animation in Canva. So in Canva, click on create a design, then click on video, then go to animation. In animation type, a sitting teacher or a smiling school teacher sketch. Then scroll and choose the one you desire. I think I prefer this one, the one where the teacher is smiling and pointing. I'm going to just bring it here and adjust it. Next, I'm going to go back to element and type in speech bubble. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. I'm going to adjust it. Then next, I'm going to go to text and bring in add a heading because I want my speech bubble to say something. So I'm just going to adjust the text too. Adjust it some more and paste it inside. Sorry, place it inside the speech bubble. Okay, so I'm going to shift it then. I'm going to group it together so you see my speech bubble and my text are now one next i'm going to go to element and type in a schoolgirl sketch then go to graphics and select any schoolgirl of your choice i'm just going to pick this girl place, place her here sorry next i'm going to go ahead and duplicate the page so now I'm going to delete the teacher, the text. I'm oh sorry, I'm going to bring back the speech bubble because I still need it. I'm going to delete the school girl. Then I'm going to go to element and type in a student sitting at a desk sketch. Then I'm going to go to graphics and bring this same student sitting at a desk. Then I'm going to go to text and bring in add a heading. I'm going to paste what she's scribbling down in her notebook. Then I'm going to also adjust the text then I'm going to place it in my speech bubble like this. I'm going to go ahead and group it. Now my text and speech bubble are now one. Next, I'm going to duplicate the page again. Here, I'm going to adjust the um, girl sitting at her desk. Then I'm going to delete the text and the speech bubble. I'm going to go to element and type in a blackboard sign sketch. Then I'm going to go to graphics and choose a blackboard i think i like this one i'm going to go to text bring add a heading and paste my text here now i'm going to adjust this text then change its color when i'm done adjusting it to white so it can pop on the blackboard then i'm going to place it on the blackboard like this i'm going to adjust it adjust the text a bit to then I'm going to um, rotate it like this so that it fits on the blackboard perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and group it. Do not forget to group your text. Now you see my blackboard and text are now one. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the page again. I'm going to delete the schoolgirl sitting at her desk, the blackboard. Then I'm going to go to element and bring back my school teacher. She's back. Then I'm going to also bring back the school girl. Then I'm going to also adjust her. Then I'm going to return to elements and type in confetti. Then graphics, look for a confetti like this one. I paste it on top of my student because she's the winner of the competition. I'm going to go to text, bring it a heading, then type in the winner. I'm going to go to color and change the color of the text because I want it to pop. Okay, I think I like this color better. I'm going to go to um, font and change the font because I like this font. It makes it better. It makes the text better. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the schoolgirl and adjust my text. 
The idea is that you can create any story with whiteboard animation. Just play around and be creative using Canva. Go to share, click download, and do not forget to download all these four images in PNG. Next, head back to Canva again. Click on create a design, then click on video. Make sure it is in YouTube setting. Scroll to where you have apps, then type in Speed Painter. Search for Speed Painter. Choose the first one. Then click on choose the file. Bring in the first image you downloaded from Canva. Decide your sketch duration and decide if you want it to be filled with color or not. Decide your color, color fill duration. Then decide also if you want the hand effect. Click on generate and wait for it to generate your whiteboard animation. Now click on add to design. Right click it and now set it as the background. Then play it to see it. You can see how beautiful this is. Do on the plus sign to add another page. Delete this image. Choose another file. Then bring on the second image. Decide your sketch duration if you want color feel or if you want the hand effect. Click on generate and wait for it to generate. Click on add to design and right click to set as background. Play it to see how beautiful it is. Click on this plus button to add another page. Click on go back then delete choose file to bring a third image decide your sketch duration color fill and hand effects then click on generate wait for it to generate once it's generated click add to design right click to set as background then play it to see how it looks like then click on this plus button again to add another page click on go back delete choose another file to bring the fourth one then decide your sketch duration color fill and hand effects then click on also generate and wait for your whiteboard animation to generate once it's done generating click on add to design once you've added it to design right click on the video and choose set as background now play the video to see your whiteboard animation now that we are done i'll just go ahead and name the video lila's big ideas then click on share download and then download it in mp4 now do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching